So, uh, the Jeep down there, Johnny, huh? The Jeep. The expensive Jeep. Anyway, that's kind of what it's about, you know. Um, yes, maybe next year and all that. Uh, but right now, we're, we're weathering the storm. We're, we're um, trying to uh, resurface. You know, why waste time explaining things to people? Just keep on doing what you're doing. I'd like to inform you about some things that are going on here, over here in America. The whole thing with the Duck Dynasty guy, you know, the beards, they all they look like ZZ Top. Uh, Cracker Barrel, it was a tough decision for them. They uh, they had to learn from the Paul Dean, had to learn from all these other um, controversial things that uh, never used to be controversial, it just, it is what it is. You know, don't judge and all that. You don't know where people are come from. You don't know how they grew up. You know, just like when you watch that show, what would you do? They had um, they had this one act actress. She um, she had her children on a leash, like in the city in Georgia or somewhere. I don't know. It was beautiful, and uh, people were walking by. They're like, it's like. Honey, you don't. Well, th all right. They're like, honey, you don't put your children on a like a parking meter, like like you know, like their dogs. And then she and then she had a dog in the in in the thing, and she was carrying the dog into the store and coming out. And she's like, I don't know, I don't know what to do with these children. I'm just leaving them here. Anyway, um, this one girl spoke up, and then they interviewed her, and she's like, well. You know, when I was like four or five, you know, my mother did that to me. She put me on one of these things. You know, I I, I don't know. But anyway, let's seg segue right into the Don Lemon thing and uh, the whole thing with the Duck Dynasty and uh, the verse there, Corinthians six, uh, Corinthians one six nine through whatever. Um, he had a guest on there, and uh, the guest was saying, "Hey." Um, it doesn't mean what you think it means. It was written in Hebrew and they changed it in 1958. All right, today we're going to uh, have a guest way later in the show. I'm going to call up and I'm going to just get his perspective. It's just people's perspective, that's all. Um, so, he uh, he said, you know, that that was changed. What it probably, what it means, and him and Don Lemon were going back and forth. And what it means, they were saying, is about don't like man like with children like pre sodomizing all that and, and then Don Lamb is going well, what about the, the Catholic Church and all that it's like can't I can't judge I can't judge I, I say to myself why don't you look deeper into it you know um, look in, in, into the Pope the Catholic Church and all that look 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 you know look have you ever been to Catholic Church you know, I grew up Roman Catholic. I went to the churches. You know, do I think that they that they do it correctly? I can't be the judge of that neither. You know, but you got to consider the source. You got to consider the source. Um, do they do it correctly? Would is that what it means? Is that what it means? That verse. Just like when I first got to Facebook, uh, my friend had uh, something from uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 1-8, and uh, it kind of said something where how the, the churches, they don't tell you certain things, you know. You gotta, you gotta look into things, if that's what you want to look into. If, if that doesn't tickle your fancy, or if you are comfortable, then fine, that's your right. But we do have freedom to express ourselves. No matter how how stupid or uh, unorthodox or crazy you think it might be, you know, someone quoting something, let him be, you know. Because then, if, if you start taking away their rights, and slowly but surely you're going to take away your rights. Oh, you might get them now, but eventually the tables will turn, you know. Because you're not the only one. Just like the Rolling Stones song, Mixed Emotions. You're not the only ship on this uh, sea. 
you know, you're not the only one, you know, thing out there, you know. So when you're riding your, your ship, to say hi. Say, would you like to come over? Would you like some sandwiches? Got some finger sandwiches. You know, if they don't like the ham or this, or say, I got this. I got vegetarian. I got, you know. I mean, back in the day, you know, when we went around boats, you know, we used to have the the cheese thing in a can. And wheat thins, you know. And some tuna sandwiches. And, you know, some, some beverages, you know. We were, we were fine. You know, no one, no one was uptight about things, you know. There wasn't this whole thing of, uh, well, we gotta, well, we gotta pass something, we gotta push something along, and by the way, Obama signed up for Obamacare, but it wasn't him, we gotta push things along, and in the, in the meantime, um, we don't care who we run over, who we throw off the boat, we're, 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 we're going forward, but we're, 